Okay, bad injector. How I found out was I pulled this, got plenty of spark here. I could hear the compression. I pulled the plug. I could hear the whishing of the piston moving up and down. Um, I pulled this connection off. I don't have any continuity on this injector. When I pulled this, there was no difference because it was running rough. And so these bolts back here, all these little hoses got to come off pretty much. This mount here doesn't come out too easy. Um, you have to take this and I believe it's that bolt there. What I've done is I put like armor all on these rubber hoses so they don't break when I pull them loose. Up there. That throttle body could probably be clean. Um, I've got all the bolts off here you can see but it's still not loose and I think this is the only bolt holding it at this point. I think I can leave this on. I got this air hose loose off and I don't see anything holding it here. Um, there is one hose down here that I forgot and so all these hoses here are loose and so next I just need to pull that bolt off on that side and I'm going to see if I can get it loose. The injectors should show continuity. If they don't show continuity they're okay, bad. So I ended up taking that off and got these hoses loose here. There's actually one more bolt on the other side. One more bolt, like right under here. You can see it right in here. That bolt right there is the only thing that's holding it on right now. And then I should be able to get to that injector, off of that injector. Okay, there's that bolt. Finally got it off. Make sure you cover up, cover up your intake. You don't want to lose anything down there. And so, next we just got to pull this puppy out of here and replace it. Got a brand new one here. And uh, if you run a continuity test, it should show like 11 ohms for this particular one. Mine was completely open, so I knew it was bad. Okay, got the new one in. One of the things I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to modify this. This uh, this is the support that goes on the front. Um, I'm going to grind it so it can be lifted out of there. Um, I may take a little off that edge, but that's a support edge. And you can see it's mainly supporting at the tip here. I may take a little off the middle and then at least grind one of these clear. Um, so you take your meter. This is the old injector. Looks a little bit different. But it fits in there okay. You take your old meter and you run a continuity test on these two terminals in here. Uh, you should see about eight, 8 or 11 ohms. And this has got an open loop on it. So that's how I knew uh, before I took all this stuff apart what the problem was. This is the injector I bought off eBay. I bought like four for 40 bucks or something. So I'm gonna actually try and use the same manifold gasket. I'm gonna put some uh, silicone where the crack is. Try and use that. I have a brand new gasket there for that manifold. And uh, should be good. Okay, so I bought this fuel filter, O'Reilly's. And it's too small. The diameter is too small. I can clamp my clamps down, my factory clamps, down all the way. And it's not clamping down. Here's my old one. It's a little bit bigger. I might just put my old one back on, take it back, take O'Reilly's back. I actually back flush this thing. You can back flush these things. And uh, Okay, don't try this at home, kids. Um, so what I did is, on that fuel filter, um, I wrapped electrical tape around it, and then this, and then now that one, the bottom one tightens up. And it's a funny thing is because one end is smaller than the other. And on my stock one, this is my stock one, it does actually look like one end is, yeah, it looks about the same. That's a different.